Hey guys, it's Trevor. Hey, I want to give you a quick tip today, and it's basically it's for those photographers that uh, you know you, you see it all the time where they work really hard, and, and you know they've been working on an edit for a wedding or for a big shoot, and they've been doing it for a few days, and then all of a sudden uh, their Lightroom catalog goes corrupt, and and you see them crying in the Facebook group saying they lost all their edits that they've been working on for a few days. And so basically, this video is just a short video to show you how you can basically have Lightroom automatically save those edits as you're doing it, so that even if your Lightroom catalog goes corrupt or you lose it or whatever, uh, all those edits that you've been spending your, your time on um, are still going to be there for you. So it's a really easy setting to turn on in Lightroom, but sadly Lightroom has it off by default. And basically what it is, is on the Mac, it's just up here on Lightroom, Catalog Settings. You come right over here where it says Automatically Write Changes into XMP. Now this, like I said, is typically on default, is off. So if you go there, it's probably like that. Um, if you haven't already turned it on. Um, the reason they have it off by default is because uh, usually, if, if basically this is automatically saving your changes. And so what it can do is it can kind of slow down your computer just a little bit. However, this came out, I believe, in Lightroom 3, and computers have just gotten better and better over the years. And I don't notice any difference uh, when I have it on or off. And so, I mean, I'm using a MacBook Pro um, laptop, but... But even so, I, I mean, as long as your computer's up to date and, and everything's fine, I, you should be should be okay with it. So turn it on, see if you notice any difference in speed. Um, if you do notice a difference in speed and it's really slowing you down, uh, the other thing you can do is you can turn it off. And after you've edited whatever you've been working on, just select. Let's say you you know you've been working for a couple hours and you're about to uh, step away from your computer or whatever. Find a good you know breaking point. Just select your images. Come up to metadata and go down here to save metadata to files or the shortcut is just control s so um, once you do that then that will also just save that metadata automatically to your files now if you notice here it says that the jpeg tiff png psd and dng files that automatically gets written into the original files in other words what that means is when you actually are saving metadata into your files you're basically saving what's called an xmp sidecar file those XMP files, when you're using one of these file types here, it's built right into the file. Now let me give you an example. Let me just show you what that looks like. So here, if I open up a, a folder of images I've been working on. Now some of these I, I were DNGs and some of them were CR2s or what that, what that is is the Canon RAW file. And so I want to show you here that the DNG does not have the accompanying XMP file as you see right here with the CR2. So you got DNG, it's built in. The CR2, however, has that accompanying XMP file. And you can see that as you kind of scroll on down here. Now, what this means, though, is that even if my Lightroom catalog got deleted, got corrupted, got lost, whatever, I can easily just pull these files right in to a new Lightroom catalog, and it will have all my changes because, as I told Lightroom to do, save those changes into the metadata or the XMP of that file. Hopefully that makes sense. Now. Um, the some people might say, well, then why do I even hold on to a Lightroom catalog? Um, and the advantage to keeping your Lightroom catalog is that you have the history set, the, the steps that aren't saved into the XMP. So you could always go back in the history if you needed to. But for me, I, I know after a time being, I will actually delete folders out of Lightroom catalogs just to kind of keep the speed up. But I just want to mention that, um, you know, in case that's something that you want to do. That's, that's basically the tip that I want to give you today is uh, an easy and quick way to be able to, uh, to have those saves right built right into the image and that way even if you do lose a Lightroom catalog or it goes corrupt, you're not going to cry about all the lost work. It's going to be right there for you as soon as you re-import those images. So hopefully that's been helpful. You guys have a wonderful day and, and a great new year. Take care.